Yamaha X-Max 300. I ride one in the US and in Thailand. Today I'm in Gulf Shores, Alabama, and I arrived here on my 2021 X-Max 300. And before I take it for a ride, let me go over a few things really quick. My favorite things about it is the storage capacity, the electronic key. Come here, I wanna show you something real quick. So when you go to start this with the electronic key in your pocket, you just push this down, turn it on, and then you start this. But if you wanna open the seat to the lid, you have to turn it to open. But sometimes on the Yamaha, on my X-Max anyways, these buttons stick. And I've had to spray some WD-40 down in here to get these to stop sticking. And it seems to be working now. It's been a couple months since I've had any issues. So that's the only problem I've had with this after putting over 4,000 miles on it. So one of my favorite things about the X-Max is all the storage underneath here. Uh, one of the things you will need to adjust the windscreen is a tool kit, which is under the seat right here. To adjust this windscreen, pull these screws out, slide up and down. I keep it in the up position to keep the bugs off my windscreen. If I'm riding in Thailand, this is too hot. And you'll see if you rent an X-Max 300 in Thailand, this windscreen's gone and there's an aftermarket. While I do think the ADV 350 Honda is a much better ride in Thailand or Southeast Asia, if you're riding in the US on better roads or in Europe or some of these other countries, the X-Max 300 is perfectly fine. Okay, let me tell you more about it as we're going for a ride in this beautiful weather. The handling is excellent. It feels light for a 300cc scooter. Good acceleration. I have to say the Honda Forza 350 from a dead stop is faster. You can feel it has a little more acceleration, but once you get moving or you just roll on the throttle, the 300 X-Max feels just as fast as a Forza 350. In the U.S., I rode the X-Max on the interstates, no problem passing cars. It'll do easily over 80 miles per hour, especially at sea level. In the Rocky Mountains, when I was riding it in Denver, Colorado, and of course Casper, Wyoming at 5,000 feet, it's perfect for in town, around town. On the interstate, however, it's a little underpowered just because uh, you lose a little power due to the elevation plus wind and uh, hilly terrain and higher interstate speeds. Speed limit in Wyoming is 80 miles per hour. So X-Max is maxed out. If you traveled anywhere on the interstate in the Rocky Mountains, you'd be full throttle the whole time. So it'll do it. Probably not the best thing for it. The X-Max I'm riding here in Thailand has really cool looking windscreen, but offers no protection against the elements, but usually no big deal because it's so hot here. I don't mind it. I just got a long ride on the highway. The front end offers really good leg protection, much better than an ADV 150, of course, it's much bigger. And it's much more enjoyable to ride this in the rain. Traffic in Thailand is tighter. You're much closer to cars and other scooters. So having a lighter scooter is definitely the advantage. After putting a few thousand miles on the X-Max in the US, I think that 300cc scooter is a perfect size. You run down the interstate, hitting the cities. Once you move up from a 125 or 150cc to a 300, there's a noticeable difference. And for me, it takes three to four days to acclimate to the larger size, getting around this tighter Thailand traffic. In the US, the cars are bigger, the roads are faster. The laws are definitely more strict. The laws favor large vehicles over small scooters. So if I had to choose between my two favorite scooters on which one to ride in the U.S., the ADV 150 or the X-Max 300 Yamaha, in the U.S. I'd have to go Yamaha X-Max 300 just because I find myself riding on the interstate and highways. So it's not much of an advantage having the smaller 150 scooter in the U.S. Moving up to the 300 in the U.S. makes a lot more sense for me. And after spending time in Thailand riding on the X-Max, I have to say, as much as I enjoy the scooter, and it's definitely a lot of fun, it's very nimble. I like everything about it, except for the headlights. But if I am choosing between the ADV 150 and this in Thailand, running around the city, I'm going to choose the ADV 150. The smaller size, well, it doesn't seem like much. It is an advantage maneuvering around traffic, filtering through, lane splitting. If I traveled to Bangkok or other surrounding cities more often, I think the X-Max 300 or even the Forza 350 would probably be a better choice for most people. 
if you were to own it. Now renting, uh, for me, I would rent the ADV 150, and then on the few times I needed to travel to the big city, I would just rent something bigger. One thing to keep in mind too, if you're gonna buy a scooter in Thailand and you have a girlfriend or wife that's gonna ride it, the ADV 150 is a much better fit. The scooter doesn't sit too tall, but the seat's fairly wide, so when I put my feet down, I touch flat-footed just barely. And I'm 5'11", so if you have a girlfriend, she's 5'3", 5'4", she's not going to be able to touch. She's going to have to slide forward on the seat. It's just going to be a bit cumbersome, kind of big. So if you're going to share it with a smaller person, I think the X-Max is maybe a little bit big. The only gripe I have with the X-Max, I'd have to say it's going to be the headlights. The dim is okay around town, of course, and there's street lights, but the bright you flip the brights on it's kind of pointless they the brights don't do much so I don't like to ride at night if it's not in the city if it's not lit up so if you're taking back roads the headlights just aren't bright enough to turn the track control on or off you just toggle through on the right hand switch here toggle that through until you see TCS on then I'm just gonna come over here and hold this toggle switch until it turns off and then it's off and then turn it back on hit the toggle switch and then it turns back on again so those are the options on and off very easy so it's been through a couple oil changes this thing's been a lot of fun to ride compared to the Honda Forza this Yamaha is a lot more nimble sportier I think it's just more enjoyable to ride so right now I'm in Casper Wyoming so I'm at 5,000 feet elevation with two people on this X-Max. I thought the elevation would slow it down a little more than it has, but we're gonna take it up Casper Mountain here. We're gonna put it to the test. Wide open throttle. With two people on, this is doing better than I thought. I didn't think it'd run this good over 5,000 feet. All right, now we're gonna be working because I gotta slow down to hit these corners and then accelerate up out of these corners here. Here we go, gotta watch these corners. Sometimes they're gravelly. Wide open throttle, still accelerating. Oh, I'm impressed. If I didn't have a passenger on, I would take those corners a little faster. I can't really tell how slick this road is right now. It's about dusk. 58, going into a 15 mile per hour corner. The brakes on this are very good for a scooter. Front and back brake operated with two fingers, so good brakes. Compared to other scooters, motorcycles are in a different category as far as braking goes, in my opinion. This is actually faster than I thought it would go. Here we are.